we can take a look how we can add new items in our library and as you know manufacturer never stop to providing new devices and uh, we all trying to keep adding the stuff in our library but in most cases user needs to add the elements by themselves so the first item in my list is adding fuse library okay. uh, as you know the library can be accessed from top toolbar if you open the project file any project file you can access to the library toolbar from here and then the, uh, the item in the list is called fuse you can open the fuse library editor from here there are two standards fuse available ANSI and IEC you can select it and you can see the list of manufacturer available on each standard also we do have two different type of uh, AC and DC fuse in our library and you can see it so the first level of this library is called manufacturer As you can see there are different manufacturers and you have a manufacturer reference as a additional information here the next level is called model so under each manufacturer you have list of available models that you can see you can select any of them and it brings more detailed information what is the class what type of fuse is and what is the fuse reference and what is the application of this model and you can see the max KVN speed is specified here there is additional uh, information if you can add it click on edit info you can add your information like reference or catalog number or brand name these are the non-essential data and there's a checkbox if the fuse is current limiting fuse if you check this checkbox it shows as a CLF fuse in your list like this case it shows as a CLF type if you want to add a new manufacturer which is not available in this list you just simply click on this add and then you can add the new manufacturer name like this new MFR then you can add the reference for this one or the link just as a sample so this new manufacturer be showing here and it doesn't have any model because I don't have any model yet, yet. so if I click on add I can add new model to this new manufacturer for example called model 1 and then I can specify what is the voltage the maximum KV voltage for this model or I can enter it if that list is not available I can enter my own value so this field is editable also same with the speed sometimes the fuse has a standard speed or slow speed you can specify what is uh, fuse speed in this field again the model info is a non-essential data you can leave it blank or it's okay so this new model is showing right now as a first entered in my model list okay it's very easy you can delete the one if you don't want it and you can copy the existing model to show uh, the new model if you go back to one of the existing uh, manufacturer for example in this case I want to show manufacturer name called SNC we have huge list like SM5 model as you can see these are the locked item so that tells you these are the models added by OTI so this model cannot be modified unless if you interested to add more sizes or modify this you need to copy this model and rename it to whatever or you can change the voltage or you can change the speed so you're gonna have another model which is this one this model is showing as a new model for you if you use the copy function and the next thing is called edit parameters which means if you are interested to change the size 
or if you're going to add the new size under this model you have to click on edit parameter so this window will be open for you and it shows all the available size as you can if you want to add more size click on this row and then you specify the size ID for example 34 this one and then the actual current continuous amp for this one then you need to specify the interrupting KA which means in ANSI standard it shows as a kiloamp and we call it as an interrupting kiloamp in IEC they call it as a breaking rating so this is the same field and then there is a field for test power factor and test X over R these two fields are automatically calculated imagine if you have a fuse uh, according to the fuse manufacturer data that fuse is tested at 15 X over R or the test power factor is 6.65 you can specify here or if you know the test power factor is what you can enter automatically calculate the text X over R for you okay so this is the information you can enter the construction and the notes are additional field available for you so you can enter more information related to that fuse and the next and the most important level is adding the points if you click on this points as you see that I click on this icon and this new window is open for me this field is specified by the minimum melting table so I can add few rows here to specify what is my time what is my amp for specifying the minimum melting curve which is this one I'm showing you okay and the same for total clearing time this is my total clearing time let me talk about the different type of manufacturer curve that we have for example for fuse this is a typical curve so we can obtain from manufacturer and it says specifically for minimum melting time clearing time characteristic curve okay and sometimes manufacturer provide with very detailed information about the curve like this one so our job as a entering the data is reading the time versus current points for each individual curve okay and then entering the data to the library which means this table okay sometimes manufacturer providing these points in Excel format which is very helpful like this model if you go to the website of this manufacturer you can see these points in Excel format okay make sure when you copy paste this information to our library you need to consider the column this column here is called current needs to be pasted here this time needs to be pasted in this column so I'm doing like this I'm inserting the line and then copy this current paste it here so this time and current can be copied and I can come here and just do paste it automatically pastes everything okay copy the point from Excel and go to the ETAP fuse TCC curve do right click and do paste it will paste automatically the paint the TCC points for you you need to make sure you pasting to the right columns okay time versus current the next thing is additional information for that TCC for example in this case the TCC curve which I have is showing this TCC number I need to put here as a 119-2 to show this or the revision date is showing August 2988 I can put it here as a revision if there is any common notes I can specify it here that fuse is applicable for what and then there's additional features called apply smoothing 